I'm gonna show you how to uh, perform a power steering flush on W210 chassis. So here's your reservoir, of course remove the engine cover and uh, uh, open up the hood all the way so it's uh, easier to see everything. So remove this cap like this. Yeah, put it aside. So uh, now um, the things that you have to locate which one and uh, determine which one is uh, pressure hose and which one is return hose. So I don't know if you can see, it's kind of hard to see, but there's your, um, uh, over there there's your um, return hose. Um, it goes directly into the reservoir. So basically what you have to do is uh, just get a flathead screwdriver, uh, loosen that clamp and remove the hose and have the catch pen ready and stuff. It's uh, jacked all the way up, so, but uh, if you don't want to remove the rear wheels you don't have to, you just have to remove the, you have to lift up uh, your, uh, the front of the vehicle and you don't have to remove any anything, any tires or stuff like that. But. I just did it because I'm doing other work. Uh, first, actually, I decided to use this uh, hand pump. I put one end of the hose over there, the other end, like into the pan. They already uh, removed some of the oil from the reservoir. So, um, after I removed it the first time, I uh, closed the cap and uh, turned the steering wheel while the engine is off uh, both ways. And this way, uh, now we have uh, fluid over there again. So right now I'll just pump it up again over here. So, and then, but eventually I think I'll just uh, remove that uh, return hose. And so now uh, uh, the return hose is removed and I put the catch pen underneath. And also I blocked off this uh, where the return hose goes to, to the reservoir. Since I'll be adding fluid here, fresh fluid. So I need that blocked off. So right now with the engine off, I'm just turning the steering wheel and you can listen how the fluid is dripping from the return hose. So, I don't know if you can hear that or maybe see. There you go, you can hear it. So, and little by little, I'm just adding fresh fluid to it. That's, and then, um, of course, um, you now we'll have to make sure there are no, there's no air in the system. My new fluid. So now it's almost at the top, so now we have to put this away and turn the steering wheel again. Now the fluid goes down little by little. It's dripping over there and I can't see while uh I'm turning the steering wheel what kind of fluid I'm getting out so I'll just use this uh, plastic bottle I'll stick the uh, return hose in it and then I'll turn the steering wheel again and see what kind of fluid it is if it's clean then it means we're good to go we can put the return hose back in uh, after finishing after I determine that the fluid is clean um, uh, so uh, I removed that uh, uh, piece of uh, 
a clod that I sticked into the reservoir so nothing is leaking from here from there so um, after determining that everything is okay I removed the uh, uh, that I, I had my return hose ready to go and I just uh, removed the my cloth really quick and just stick the return hose back in and right now I just have to uh, make sure it's tight and uh, have to make sure that I tighten this uh, clamp all the way there it is I made a little mess but you know it's alright just use some brake cleaner hose clamp Put the dipstick back in and the cap, whatever you want to call it. Now let's start it up. We might hear whine uh, because we need to bleed the air. Alright, so basically I did that because right now I started it and all the fluid is going to go throughout the system. So we can check our fluid level and add if needed. So wipe down the dipstick, put it back in, see what we got. It uh, looks like we're good and cold, but now the thing is that we didn't uh, we didn't turn the string while the car was running, so we have to do that. Let's do it again. So. We're turning to the left or to the right all the way, then back, back and forth, and we actually don't hear any winding, winding, so it's good. Make sure there are no leaks. Everything is all right. Now let's shut it off. All right, now it's off. So do the same thing again. Check the fluid level. In this case, the car is still cold. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a cold and hot mark. So. Looks like we still have to add a little bit, but the best thing to do is just to warm up the car all the way to the closed loop and then check it again because the level is going to go up after that. Winding, winding, uh, after you change, uh, after you do the flush, so what you have to do is start it up and uh, open this cap and uh, just turn the steering wheel back and forth all the way to the left all the way to the right and you're gonna hear some whining but uh, the thing is that you're gonna see the bubbles that you won't be able to see it now but you can see the bubbles in the on the top over there which means that's what you want to see because you don't want to you want to see those bubbles coming out and then as soon as they're gone like you should be good to go engine is the uh, at the operating temperature <clears throat> so we should be able it's at the minimum now the level so we can add more so add more and then uh, make sure no leaks um, and uh, just spray some brake cleaner over there or you made some spills and that's it pretty pretty easy job old fluid and this system like I was looking up 
it takes uh, like a gallon or something or no it's actually like cord and something of the power steering fluid so and uh, yeah so that's how you uh, flush the power steering fluid thanks for watching and uh, hope this is helpful and again do it at your own risk and good luck guys thanks uh, when doing power steering flush I like this method more uh, because you can be sure that you won't bring any damage to your uh, system because some guys they just uh, when they do undo return hose and then they just start it up and then uh, the things that when you start it up you have to keep refilling it you know and you have to keep watching so basically you have to be like running back and forth you know like turning off the, the car and adding fluid so you, you would need like two people and stuff but when doing this um, when doing it this way it's it's just much easier and um, it's it's not a big deal you know it's it's easy to do that you know it just takes longer but you, you you will know that everything is gonna be fine you know with your car so that's how you do it and um, it shouldn't be a big problem and uh, your car will be thankful for you because you changed the steering fluid